If you could create earthquakes, what would you do? Today on Yokai no Lai, I bring you the Onamazu, or Great Catfish. They're big old catfish that not only make earthquakes, they also help the poor. And I'll also show you some funny old art prints of these guys. Onamazu live under the earth in underground rivers and caverns. Sometimes they brush up against rock or just thrash about, which shakes the earth and your belief in a merciful god. Earthquakes in Japan happen all the time. They used to blame dragons for causing them, but in the Edo period, the blame shifted to catfish. Earthquakes are like arguments with your spouse. Most of them are minor and don't cause problems, but out of nowhere, a big one hits and you lose your home. One of these big ones hit the city of Edo on November 11th, 1855, and boy were homes lost. About 14,000 homes. 7,000 to 10,000 people died. It was a 7.1 magnitude earthquake, followed by 80 aftershocks a day for 9 days. This was the Ansei Edo earthquake. Afterwards, artists started churning out artwork called namazue, or catfish, pictures. People loved them, until they found out that the artist was actually 50 years old and looked nothing like the pictures. People loved them, and the number of namazue exploded. Artists just couldn't wait to go to work and make these things. People started associating catfish with earthquakes. There's a story where Takemi Kazuchi, the god of thunder and the sword, trapped an onamazu by slamming a big stone on top of its head, pinning it down. It's surprisingly hard to move with a huge thing on your head, plus a god. So the onamazu could only make small earthquakes. But every year, in the 10th month of the lunar calendar, Takemi Kazuchi has to go attend a big meeting with the other gods, Kamikan. This allows the Onamazu to act up while daddy's away, and people blame earthquakes that happen during this time on this catfish. The rock supposedly exists at the Kashima Shrine in Tokyo. They say a lord once tried to dig the rock out, but gave up after a week because he couldn't reach the bottom. So how did Onamazu help the poor? Well, there's a concept called Yonaoshi, or world renewal. It was used as a rallying cry for change for people who thought the current system was broken and needed to be reset. For example, farmers in the Edo period often lived in poverty and would riot to attack the wealthy, hoping to reduce that wage gap and have everyone start at the same spot again. In the wake of the 1855 Edo earthquake, the term Yonaoshi meant redistribution of wealth. People saw the earthquake as an act of Yonaoshi, and saw the Onamazu as a creature of Yonaoshi, an agent of change. The Onamazu was popular with the poor, because afterwards the rich were like, oh no, my house is destroyed. And the poor were like, oh no, your house is destroyed. I'll rebuild it for a few coins. The earthquake devastated mostly the rich elite areas, and it came after a few other major quakes. The Edo period also suffered riots and civil unrest. It must have seemed like their entire society was being shaken up. Rich people lost their homes and possessions, and poor people saw an opportunity to move up in life. There was a feeling of everyone starting over again and working together. The rich had to rebuild their homes, using all that money that they had been hoarding to pay blue-collar construction workers and suppliers. Money flowed from the top to the bottom. Edo's pleasure district for the elite, Yoshiwara, was also destroyed. So a bunch of temporary brothels were opened around the city, and they enjoyed the business of many of these construction workers who suddenly found themselves with spending money. And what better place to spend your money than between the legs of a stranger? Of course, there were also those who had a negative view of Onamazu and earthquakes. The earthquake was devastating, after all. It was around this time that Japan started opening its borders to the west. Many of the Yonaoshi activists thought the earthquakes were a warning from the gods against these foreigners, and hated the idea of working with outsiders. Alright, let's take a look at these namazue, catfish pictures. But while we do that, we need to remember that even though catfish were a symbol of earthquakes, most people didn't actually believe they caused earthquakes. It was a folk story, and drawing catfish was just fun. Most people actually thought that an earthquake happened when the earth had a yin-yang imbalance, too much yang buildup meant the earth had to release yang energy upwards. Okay, here's Takemi Kasuchi holding down an onamazu. Up top, you can see the god Daikokuten, a god of wealth, showering money onto these workers. Remember, blue collar workers were rolling in money after the earthquake. Here's an onamazu shooting coins out of its blowhole. You may be asking, why does a catfish have a blowhole? And the answer is, artists are not zoologists. No, the onamazu actually represents western steamships. The Japanese commonly called them black ships. 
The money is blowing out from the place where the smokestack of a steamship would be. This artist must have thought that western trade would bring them fortune. Here's some people beating up a catfish in drag. They're in front of a brothel and the catfish is saying, Hey you fools, the earthquake gave you this brothel. And money. Some more people beating up Onamazu. They're all wearing nice clothes because they're the rich who were most affected by the earthquake. Some workers in black are trying to protect him. More catfish abuse. Here's Takemi Kazuchi's rock that was supposed to hold the Onamazu. In this picture, Takemi Kazuchi has gone to Kamikan and left another god, Ebisu, to take care of things. But this lazy bum has fallen asleep and allowed the Onamazu to wreak havoc on Edo. These are kind of lighthearted, right? Considering they just had a deadly earthquake. But remember, it mostly affected the rich. So these commoners creating art didn't feel too bad about it. Oh, there's also a dude pooping drums. Takemi Kazuchi and an Onamazu playing tug of war with their necks. The fancy elites are cheering on Takemi Kazuchi, while commoners stand with Onamazu. Scientology meeting. Catfish and workers enjoying the pleasure quarters. Now don't think that all Namazu only exist in the old days. In Final Fantasy XIV, the Namazu tribe will destroy you with cuteness. In Legend of Zelda, you can get from an Onamazu the Quake Medallion, which lets you call forth earthquakes. The Pokemon Wish Cash is based on a catfish and it causes earthquakes. There's a dude in Dragon Ball GT named Zunama, who lives in an underground cave and can cause earthquakes. Yeah. Hey, want more yokai videos? Check them out, here. We have a new patron this week, Emma Thompson. Thank you, Emma. Alright, much love, guys, and spread the knowledge.